Hello, everyone. This is Piers Ridyard, CEO of RDX Works, a core developer of the decentralized finance protocol Radix. And I'm here with May, who is head of developer ecosystem. Hello, May. Hey. So we have something a little bit special that's going on at the moment, which is the Babylon Booster program. Um, those who don't know what Babylon is, Babylon is the launch of our smart contracts on top of the Radix network. That's happening on the 31st of July. And we've been building um, quite an impressive ecosystem of, of DeFi projects and Web3 projects uh, and, and a lot of really enthusiastic builders coming into the, into the Radix ecosystem, uh, learning Scripto for the first time uh, and really getting to grips with what the power that that represents for being able to build projects. And we, before um, we did the grants booster program, we actually ran a grants program um, where our first grants program, we uh, had um, six companies who came into the grants program uh, and we, we helped them out in terms of giving them advice, in her, terms of like giving them some, some money uh, and basically tutoring them, taking them through the basics of launching a Web3 DeFi startup, uh, as well as some deep dives with um, sort of masterclasses with, with, with uh, members of the team. Now, we are going to have another one of those, but that isn't coming soon. That's going to be coming later. Uh, but we realize that there's a lot of really great entrepreneurs out there, a lot of really great people who have got amazing ideas. So we came up with this Babylon Boosters program. So I'll hand it over to May to talk a little bit about what that is. Yeah, it's super exciting. We've been uh, quite humbled uh, to see so many people building ahead of uh, Babylon. And our goal is really to be able to support them at the launch. And like you said, it was amazing to have the program, which was three months long, lots of support. But uh, Babylon is coming sooner than later, so we don't really have the time to roll out a program like this. We will post Babylon, but for now, we really want to be able to support the teams that are going to launch at Babylon or close to Babylon uh, mainnet upgrade. So for this, we've designed another type of grants, which is the Babylon Booster. It's going to be um, less support, less of a program, but really helping the team and giving them 10,000 US dollars in XRD if they manage to launch within six uh, weeks of Babylon, which should be around September 11th. Um, the applications are open now. Uh, it's a form to fill. Takes takes some time, I think. We ask for quite a bit of information onto what's the product, what's the team, what are they planning to launch uh, early at Babylon. Uh, and also for a video, quite an interesting exercise for the founders to go through. Publishing a video telling you uh, also a bit more about your project. And um, yeah, so this is open until Monday, 12th of June. Yeah. So I, think I would say, I would say it. to anyone who is thinking about this, it's a really worthwhile exercise. You know, I, um, I've been through, uh, I've been through a few accelerator programs. I've also now run an accelerator program. I know how, um, helpful, writing applications can be to help really pinpoint what it is, what your project is doing and why it's doing it. And there is a huge difference in business between having an idea and being able to communicate an idea. And it's one of those skills that you will constantly use when you're sort of pitching yourself, when you're building, when you're building a, a business that you want to grow into a successful company, you've constantly got to bring people on that road with you. You've got to constantly tell people how and why what you're doing is exciting. And so we've designed the, the application process to be around the same sort of things that you would be expecting to be communicating to the world when you're actually going out and ready to launch the platform or the the application or the service that you're thinking about doing so i wouldn't i don't feel intimidated by the application program like even if it's even if it's a very early stage that's fine we're not looking for massively polished um we're just looking for enthusiastic people who are building something really cool um who want to have a little bit of help to make sure uh you know when they successfully launch on Babylon, at, you know, near Babylon launch, that they get the attention uh, and at least a little bit of uh, funding that they deserve in, in doing all of that hard work. So please do apply to the Babylon Boosters Grant. It is open to everyone, um, but it does require you to have delivered a working product within the first six weeks of Babylon. That is the basically the main 
um, requirement for you to receive the grant is that you can think of this as, as retrospective um, grants. If you if you if you launch a, a successful project on top of the Babylon network within six weeks of it going live, the thirty first of July, you will receive a grant of uh, ten thousand dollars worth of Radix tokens. Um, and we and and this is because we want to be able to support as many people as many builders who are thinking about launching when babylon comes along and you know the 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 this was the best way we could think about doing it in both you know saying thank you to everyone who's dedicated and put hard work in and in, in making sure that the babylon launch is as successful as possible and as well as helping us understand the great teams that are building within the uh, radix ecosystem and and also help them get some more visibility um in the space when when it comes to launching Definitely. And so don't hesitate to apply. If you're unsure about some of the questions in the form, feel free to add something there. We'll come back to you if we need more explanation. So where where, where, where can I find, if you're interested in applying for the grant, where, where can I find the information? So it's all on our website, developers.radixdlt.com slash grants program. You can find information there. I'm sure we'll be sharing everywhere as well on the, our Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and all the social platforms. Um, yeah. And when do they have when when does the when do applications close? On Monday, twelfth of June. So still a little bit of time to apply and do it uh, as fast as you can. It's always nice to see applications coming in. And yes, then and don't leave it last minute. Yeah. Don't leave <laughs> it last minute because it will take you a little bit longer. It's not just a trivial form filling exercise. It will take you a little bit longer. It does require a bit of thought. I promise it will be helpful for you to uh, make sure that you're successful uh, going forwards as well. But don't leave it until the 12th of June to do it because you will find that you won't be able to get it all done um, in last minute. Um, but 12th of June uh, on our developers website, developers.radixdld.com. Uh, and uh, we will put some more information in the, uh, in the notes below this video so that you can find out about it. Um, but yeah, once again, huge shout out to everyone who is building uh, using Scripto, who is planning to launch something at Babylon. Um, you guys really do make these the the ecosystem what it is, um, and what the what Radix will be post Babylon. Um, a big part of that is going to come down to you guys. So so excited to see what you guys are going to be building. Uh, and as May, May says, you can reach out to us. Where's the best place if someone has questions to reach out? Um, to the always team. on the Discord. On it's Discord. always the best place. For Any us. particular channel on Discord? Any of the developer channel. I think the there's a dev channel. launch, maybe is the best. Yeah. Okay. So if you go if you go to developers.radixdld.com, you will see a link to Discord. If you just click that, that will take you straight to our to the to the Radix Discord. And then inside the Radix Discord there's a there's a channel called Developer Lounge. Uh, that's your best place to ask questions. Anything else you'd like to add, May? Let's do this. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everyone.